Hello everybody, in this video I will explain you how you can import or install script or template that you can use in Cubase to control external hardware instrument. In my case, in front of me, I have Roland BK7. Let us see how it works. First, if you have Cubase, I have Cubase 12 in this case, you will go under Studio, More Option, MIDI Device Manager. Under Device Manager, if you don't have anything here, there is place to install devices. It means install scripts or templates. If you don't have anything, that means you don't have any template presently there. Now you have two way how to have some templates here. One way is click to install device and choose templates that I offered by Steinberg. There is some templates from uh, Roland, from Korg, from uh, other companies, but mostly for older instruments. But if you are a Yamaha user, you are a lucky one because uh, Yamaha is part, uh, Stenberg is part of Yamaha, so Yamaha owns Stenberg. So uh, that means they are making templates for their instruments for Stenberg. That, that's why you have Tyros 5, you have new uh, instruments, for example, you, you have. Uh, uh, you have Yamaha Genos as well. You have a lot of instruments here that you can find from Yamaha company. So you will click on any of those instruments just and say OK, and you will have template. Now you are ready to con control that instrument. If you have that instrument and you have to connect that instrument, that template with instrument, but I don't have that y Yamaha PSR 750, so I will remove this. I just showed you how you can install device with templates that is off offered by Steinberg. But if you don't have template uh, from Steinberg, then you have to make or you have to purchase some template from somebody who made that template. I have template for Roland BK7. So, and this is mostly, this video is for mostly for customers who bought template from me for BK7. And if you get this template, make sure that you put that template in storage or uh, somewhere where you can find it always. Because whenever you are changing computer or if you have problem with Cubase, if you have to restart Cubase, then you have to use template again. But once when you install a template and Cubase is working properly, you don't need to install it anymore until you have problems that I mentioned. Now, let me close this. In this case, if you that have that template that you got, then you will say import setup. And then you will find location of the template, click, say open. And now it will say run BK7. Now you will press OK. And it's, it is already showing that is output to my BK7 that I can see in list of my devices. Uh, why is like that? Because previously you have to make sure that you have installed driver for Roland BK7 that you can find on Roland page. And then you have to make sure that your Roland BK7 is connected with USB cable and drivers is installed properly. And then you will be able to see that BK7. If you didn't, that, uh, didn't, didn't do that on proper way, you will not be able to be, uh, see BK7. That means you have to install driver and you have to connect BK7. Installation and process on installation, I have I, I think so I did explain in, in my previous video. Or you have to find out how to do that. Just read information how to install driver from Roland. Now I have template and my Cubase is ready to control connected BK7. Now I will start one new project from Cubase to show you how it works. I'm going to press new project. And now if it's this empty project, then I have to create uh, MIDI tracks. If it's not empty tr project, if you have template, now there is another template for Cubase that you don't need if you know how to create MIDI tracks. But I have the template and just to save our time, I will open that sem template, I will say create, and I will f f find location where I want to store this, and I will say select that folder, when you find location, hopefully you know how to do that when you are creating new project. So I don't want to show you that in this video to lose that time. And now it is saying Roland BK7 is unmapped. I will press to this red and I will say, Roland BK7 brackets BK7M. It means template BK7 related to BK7 instrument. 
That instrument I can find down, but don't choose this down. It is just instrument without template. This is one, right one, if you have already a run template that I showed you how you can uh, install it. Run template and say, uh, map always like that. Whenever he's looking for template on this computer and template is there, just always map like that. Don't ask me anymore. Now what I have here, uh, I have here my template. So in my template, I have my style tracks, percussion, drums, bass, a complement one, two, three, four, five. I named it like that. But in Roland, actually, they are named like drums, bass, and then one, two, three, four, five. And this one is actually called a complement six in Roland world. But that's a complement six. I left percussion just to tell you that mostly on that part are second drums or percussions. It could be other instruments as well, but mostly percussions on drums. In Korg world, those are percussion, Yamaha. Uh, they have as well percussion, but I think so uh, on, uh, I think uh, now I'm, uh, you, you will know that if you are a Yamaha user, it, it doesn't matter, but I, in Korg are percussion, I think so on channel number 11 and Yamaha channel number 10. In Yamaha channel 11, bass, bass guitar and Korg number nine is bass guitar. Again, it is just opposite. It is between channel number nine and 11, not 10. Nine and 11, they switch positions, bass or percussion, Yamaha and Korg. Rest of the channels in Korg and Yamaha are the same. Always channel number 10 are drums and one, two, three, four, five are channels number 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. That is in Roland as well like that. Roland is following this only name for channel number nine is a complement six in Roland world. So, but in uh, Catron world is different. Catron has another story. Catron has nine and 10, and then it has five, six, seven, eight, 12, and 11 and 12. So in my uh, Cubase setting, all channels are used uh, based on Catron mapping because I want to have everything the same and I used Catron mapping for everything. So whenever I am working in live or uh, studio environment, I know what is a complement one, what is two, what is three, four, five, which channel is that. So, and I'm using this and I have to do that on keyboard as well. I don't need to uh, remap my Catron, but I have to remap Roland, uh, Yamaha and Korg to have same MIDI channels. So, but you know what? Just pay attention of the MIDI channels that you have inside of instrument and put same MIDI channels here. So every input for that channel should be your instrument. So BK7, I want to avoid looping, freezings or everything other. So every input routing is BK7 in my rhythm section or style section. Okay, BK7, input. But in solo section is input my controller, MIDI controller. And you choose channel, on which channel you are controlling solo section. And on this part is channel number 16. I'm controlling, I'm just sending messages to BK7 to choose style with which style I want to work. So input routing is nothing but output routing BK7. All of those channels, they have output routing BK7. Style section input BK7. And actually, a routing output routing is BK7 uh, template. So now I have here option to choose template or BK7. I will choose template. When I choose template, I have option to see my template. And in my template, I can see tone list, all sounds from BK7, and I can see stylist, all styles from BK7. Now, if I want to send message to BK7 to call style, I will just click here and call Green Rock and pay attention what is going to happen here. Green Rock, it is Green Rock. 
cool shuffle it is cool it is go live band and eric beat eric beat so i'm using this channel just to call any style from around that i'm going to use that for that project and save it with projects so i will always know which style did i take for this project for solo section i'm using controlling solo instruments i'm using tone list so not style list tone list and i'm choosing instrument in my case i am playing instruments from on channel number two uh, that uh, but my user part section I'm not using in studio recording. I have reasons for that to avoid looping, to avoid problems. I'm not using that. So I'm using for, uh, if I play everything from Cubase, I am using section inside of BK7 that is called uh, song parts. Song parts are able to receive messages. Style parts in Roland BK7 they cannot receive messages they are not able to receive they can send messages so that's why my inputs are bk7 and i am sending all midi messages from bk7 inside of cubase in live performing but when i'm sending that back so because of reason that roland is not able to receive on style parts messages i'm using song part and i have proper midi channels same channels that I have in my project and same channels that I have in Roland. You have to set up Roland on that way. You have to set up your every keyboard. If you want keyboard to be able to communicate with Cubase, it doesn't matter if you have template or not template, you have to set up inside of keyboard MIDI channels that are answering to those MIDI channels that, I have, that you have in project. Now, solo section, I use channel number two and I'm sending instruments and I can control them from here. Tone, natural piano. So it, is, it doesn't show them here because I am not controlling upper section, but they're actual those instruments. When you play them, you can hear actual those instruments. It is choosing those instruments from song play part on, on Roland. And only things that are shown here are, uh, are uh, uh, parts I will go here just for a moment to show you. Go to MIDI and you can see edit style parse, edit song parse, edit tone parse. So you have to do some job here. It is a lot of job to do here if you want to have proper connection between Roland, Cubase, and if you want to work on, uh, to not only Roland, any keyboard. So any keyboard, you have to do job in your keyboard. Any job. Uh, so MIDI job, I mean, to be able to communicate. So I told you, song parts are those who are receiving messages. Style parts, they cannot receive. They can send, but not receive. Tone parts, they can receive, but they don't work so very well in studio recording. Now, we are focused to using this module in studio. In live performing, yeah, you should use tone parts, of course. You want to be able to choose sounds to uh, play sounds. And you can control styles as well uh, in live performing from MIDI controller that is able to send messages. Now, so actually it is that. Now, you know exactly how it works when, and what you have to do when you receive a template script or template for Cubase to control hardware. And focus on my video is how to work with template, but I, I did give you some other information on top of that, some bonus information just to let you know what else you should explore, what else you should know about uh, uh, using any template and controlling any keyboard. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you in my next video.